Okay, so I think it's about time we start talking about the basic, basic building blocks of any program that you're going to um, that you're going to write in C sharp or in other programming language, which are going to be variables. Um, and according to that analogy that I said before uh, about computer programs being like kitchen recipes, um, variables are going to be the basic ingredients that we're going to play with in any computer program. Variables are a way of storing memory, storing information in memory on the computer that then we can access at any time during the life of the program that we're writing and that we can also change dynamically during the execution of our program. Uh, if we think of um, computer memory as this really terrible diagram that I just drew, drew here, you can think of computer memory as uh, a lot of like small slots, a lot of compartments where we can store zeros and ones, right? So declaring, when we declare a variable in a computer software, basically what we're doing is we're telling the computer, hey, can you find me a spot on in memory that is empty and that is big enough to store the information that I want to store in there? The computer tries to find that spot and then reserves that spot through the life of the program just for that one variable that we have specified, all right? And how do we specify that process? How do we tell the computer, can you find this memory space big enough for this variable and then store some information there? We do it with a statement such as the one that I have explained, that I have written here. What does this mean? This statement has three main parts. First of all, it has uh, the part, it has the name of the variable. So here, this A that I'm writing in here is the name of the variable that I have exp that I have declared. So from here on, during the life of the program, this slot of memory with these four compartments here is going to be called A, which is a terrible name by the way, but it's called it's going to be called A. The value that I want to store in this memory spot, in this memory allocation, is going to be the value of the number 10, all right? And then uh, the third thing that I would like to tell the computer is that this variable called A is always, always going to store data types of the type integer. What that means is that A only will only be able to store numbers that are integers, or in other ways, numbers that do not have any decimal part, all right? Um, the fact that we need to tell the computer, we need to tell the C-sharp compiler which type of information we're going to store in this, um, in this variable serves several purposes. One of them, for example, is the purpose that uh, given, how, given the type of the variable that we will store, C-sharp will be able to determine how much memory in the computer is needed in order to store that information. So for example, a very small uh, data type such as Boolean, such as true or false, will require very little memory. However, a number with a lot of precision and a very large decimal part will require a bigger chunk of memory. Or for example, a long paragraph of text will require a lot much more memory than just a simple number. And so on and so on. So, um, so defining the type of a variable is very, very important, and it's something that we'll need to take uh, to keep in mind. Keep in mind when we're working with C sharp. This, the fact that C sharp is a strongly typed language, and that's what this means. It means that we always have to specify the type of everything that we work with. Is what it makes it is part of what makes it a middle level programming language. Uh, because lower level languages also have types, but for example, uh, higher level languages like Python and JavaScript, they do have types, you, but it's just that you don't have to specify them explicitly. And also during the life of the program, they can change. Types for variables in C sharp cannot change during the life of the program. If you say that A can only store integers, then you can only store integers in that value. If you need to store a number with a decimal part, then you will need to create a different variable. All right? So this is what this statement means. This statement is basically telling the computer, can you find in memory space for an integer value? 
give it the name of a and then store the value of 10 inside of this value. And then after this statement is executed, here we will have the value of 10. All right, it's just as easy as that. This, this statements declaring a variable, specifying the type, giving it a name and assigning an initial value is so, so, so common that you're going to be, you can, you're going to get used to this very, very fast. All right. So um, let's see, for example, before we move on, what other types of variables can we declare?